Hey, good afternoon. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. It's a beautiful day in Michigan. I'm out driving an exemplary car today. This is a 1965 Chrysler Imperial LeBaron. It is so dark, dark olive green that it looks almost black. This is a very, very well survived car with mostly, if not all, factory OEM original paint on the car. I have found some spots where I think um, there may have been some paint work done, but pretty much all over the car I'm getting readings 7 to 9 mils of thickness. Great magnetic adhesion down low. Super solid survivor underbody. The chrome is very well survived. It's a metallic paint. The only spots of gathering I could see, you might not see that on video, I've got still photos. A little bit of gathering up there. A little bit of crow's feet going on in this original paint on some of the upper surfaces, but boy, the reflective quality is just outstanding for its age. There is a spot on this car where I couldn't get a magnet, a light duty business card magnet to steal, uh, to stick not to steal. Vinyl top is in excellent condition. It's got the smaller back window, kind of more like the limousines would have. Uh, the chrome is very well survived. A little light patina, but no real pitting to speak of. The anodizing on this chrome grill is uh, worn in spots. Mostly water spots on the front bumper. Really, that front bumper is in excellent shape. I, I cleaned a few spots before we took off for the ride. And let's take a peek underneath it and take a, uh, a peek at the engine bay. Underside's very stout. Those floor supports are in really nice shape. Pinch welds are really clean all the way along here. No evidence of separation. Original body bushings. You can see them right there. Really, really nice shape. Single exhaust, newer muffler. The car looks like this all the way around. Body supports are in excellent shape. A little bit of surface rust here, but it's not Nothing too, uh, nothing too alarming. Very straight underbody. Rocker moldings are in beautiful shape, really well survived. It's an unrestored engine bay, completely uh, bone stock. No signs of aftermarket. Maybe that air cleaner's been repainted. Maybe the valve covers got touched up. But uh, I don't think the engine's ever been out of this vehicle. Battery's been changed. Factory air condition. Autopilot system, power steering, power brakes. 413, four barrel, 340 horse car. All the fluids are clean, the transmission fluid smells good. wind noise taking a look at the uh, trunk here this uh, rear compartment up underneath the package tray is a secondary air conditioning system for the back passengers this car is set up really more like a limo with no divider glass jack and spare are present carpet kit still here l7815 bias ply that's never been on the ground I can't confirm if that's an OEM tire but these door uh, these uh, trunk jams and door jams are in just stellar condition. Some paint chips right there. There are certainly a few paint chips on the car. A 
The lenses are in really nice shape. The bumpers fit the body really well. These doors, uh, they close with a two finger. Not, you don't even need to slam them that much. They all just kind of rock shut. No play in the bushings. The car is for sale. If this is a car you have an interest in, give us a call 800 301 3886. A couple small chips there. A little swelling on the car right there. It's about the worst spot on the vehicle. Right there on the driver's door. Here we're going to grade the paint objectively, which I'm trying to do. It is a great three to five foot car, a superior seven to ten foot car. And considering it's almost 60 years old, the paint. good-looking car you wouldn't need to do anything to. The car does have some unique history. These rubber seals along the hardtop, they could stand to be replaced on both sides. The door seals, though, they're in really good shape. Door skin lips are really nice. The rear seat definitely doesn't have much mileage on it. Package tray shows well. Headliner, fabulous. This leather hit grab handle is all here, but it's dried up and needs to be reattached. The handle itself is stable, just the leather wrap on it. Again, watch these doors. These, I don't know what they call these pearlized door handles, but some kind of an ivory. Factory stock hubcaps are very nice. Older bias ply L7815 tires. Some of the gold anodizing is wearing off those centers, but they're in really nice shape. BF Goodrich L7815s. It's a beautiful car, kind of a green black. One small little ding right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not right in there. Let's take it for a drive. Driver's door is uh, holding up really nice. Door skin lip is really nice. No real arm sweat wear on that pad or armrest. Power window buttons are in really nice shape. Power seat, operable condition. That seat over there reclines. This leather bolster has a typical leather checking and wear you'd probably expect with 44,000 miles. Probably shorter trips. Still very comfortable. The steering wheel is beautiful. Kind of like a luminescent uh, light green. I think this is the first year the Imperial offered a shifter on the column as opposed to the push button. Not positive on that. You Chrysler experts can can correct me. This is kind of cool. Air conditioning vents fold down in the front, and they do in the rear as well. The rear package tray has that same effect with the rear air. That being said, the air conditioning is not blowing cold, but the system appears complete. And uh, if I can get the key in the hole. First turn the key forward, check gauges light comes on and all the gauges gain ground and they, uh, they start motion. No puff of smoke, we started it cold today. Power antenna, and I do not see that working. All the power windows work. The, except the right rear window is not going up and down. These windows all see, oh, those are power vent windows, and those actually work. Nice speed to them still. Visors are in really nice shape if you can see those. 46,169 miles. 
Those are actual reported miles. This car was uh, won in a contest. There is a bigger backstory to it that I'm not recalling, told by the retired owner. Torque Flight 727 Trans. Turn signals are operating. Temp gauge is coming up. Get up to 60 miles an hour here in this 45 and I'm gonna take my hands off the wheels. We're on kind of a country bumpy two track. Maybe I won't take my hands off the, the wheels, the wheel. There's only one of them, no other wheel. Maybe we'll get a smoother spot up here and we'll do that. But uh, listening to this car hit the bumps all over the road, it is very quiet inside. No clunks or uh, noises coming from it. Rear end's not making any noise. right now as we accelerate up here so you can see that the give me a flat spot here on the road. Steering wheel's not bumping or just don't have a very smooth road to go down here. But it runs very well. Very quiet engine. No noise from the trans or rear end. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise checking out a very cool 1965 Chrysler Imperial LeBaron today. A very complete, well-preserved original car with what appears to be a lot of its original paint in place. I can't really find any obvious tape lines or color differentiation and I spent a long time looking the body over. Now, that being said, I found a little bit of overspray in the very ends of some of the uh, doorbell moldings when the doors were open and a little bit on the latch but the paint actually looks original in the jam so I don't know maybe it got sent back in for some touch-up work seems like if it were repainted they would have fixed a few of the little chips and scuffs along the way but the digital paint meter indicates seven to nine mils in most areas some as high as 11 or 12 so there's not much paint in the car regardless. I just missed my turn. Here's some original advertising. You can freeze frame this video if you want to check out some of these options. And some of the original promotional marketing on this car. The car is for sale. Contact our office if you're interested. 800-301-3886. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise or email us cars at autoappraise.com. Uh, feel free to leave us some comments if you'd like. We are going to try to update the history on this car in the written area. Very straight car. Thanks for looking. If you think it deserves to be in your garage, give us a call. We'll make a deal. Have a great day. car matches my shirt, maybe I should buy it.